Okay, okay, so good evening. Today it is Saturday. Uh, Saturday, uh, August the 25th, I'm here at the library doing some writing. I have a lot of writing to do to catch up on COVID-19 as well as to catch up on what's going on overseas in Afghanistan as well as here uh, with updates um, um, here in the United States. So I'm going to introduce myself. My name is LaQueen Arlene Battle. I am a certified medical assistant, adult and pediatric first aid. I'm a graduate of Purdue University in Indiana, as well as I'm a graduate of Harold Washington College in Chicago, Illinois. I really want to make this a quick topic to talk about. It is pretty much what I have been experiencing since I graduated from Purdue University, as well as dealing with the black community, okay? I have been dealing with a topic that is very, very sensitive, as well as very, very insulting. Um, to be told by someone, especially by a male or especially by a female individual that I am not servicing somebody and therefore I do not deserve to obtain or to get what I need. Okay, so um, I'm going to go over, um, put some, <clears throat> pretty much get some Bible verses out to talk about this topic because I am dealing with a lot of issues. I've been traveling around the United States, going to events, doing first aid today. I did a, a reading today, recital reading at Harvard University at Harvard Square, which is really good. As well as um, I've been dealing with a lot of issues with uh, Sarah Jakes and uh, with uh, the Potter's House Ministry, Stephen Furtick and his ministry, uh, Rod Parsley and his ministry, Rodney Harrow Brown and his ministry, all these ministries, and not one time in my <clears throat> 35, 40 year old existence on this planet Earth have I been told by any ministry what it means to service somebody. Okay, to be servicing, that a Christian woman should know how to service. As well as in the Muslim community, even in the mus Muslim community, Muslim community, Muslim community, um, I have Muslim friends, I have Buddhist friends, I, I am practicing Catholic myself, and even though I attend a Catholic parish, I still have not heard the words from a pastor or a minister's mouth or an ordained minister's mouth what it to service somebody okay to service somebody so um it is not any positive matter okay it is a very negative tone and usually right now um at this moment in time a lot of people are struggling with the economy this economy is hurting People are losing their homes. People are losing jobs. And right now we're trying to recover from this COVID pandemic as well as we're going through issues overseas with Afghanistan. So a lot of people are hurting right now, are hurting. And so pretty much people are hurt, excuse me. People are hurting right now, excuse me. People are hurting right now, okay? And they're willing and they're desperate to do anything necessary in order to get what they want and sometimes sometimes money is never enough enough to quench somebody's thirst you can never give somebody enough money to to make them want to, to leave you alone or to pretty much to stop to stop them to alleviate the situation okay Money sometimes is not the situation. They don't. They want something a little bit more after more after more until it's not enough for them. It's never enough. It's never enough. And those times, at those times when you deal with a person, or when you're in an abusive environment, or when you're exposed to that type of individual or that type of relationship, 
you think, oh, if I leave that situation, then it will be better. But at the end time, when you leave the situation, it eventually comes 360 degrees, it comes as a rewind back in your life, okay, saying, I'm going through the same situation over and over again, the same circumstance, but with a different individual, okay, so right now what I'm dealing with is I'm ex being exposed, being taught by people that I should be servicing people, when in fact, I really don't know what's going on. Okay, as well as deal with a lot of issues with going like casino life, being being broke and struggling on the street, as well as dealing with other issues, being a woman, being single, being single, being excuse me, being a woman, being single, being alone, and dealing with a lot of other issues in life. In the struggle of life so it is hard it is very 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 hard right now to find myself to get back up again and say what does God want me to do because right now in this age and date of time people have so many different talents so many different talents of where you need to go and what you need to do and eventually people can do anything they want to do with the, with the world you don't need to tell somebody to go underneath and lower beneath themselves in order to get to where they need to go and usually when somebody tells you to service them you are their property you are that person's property so i'm trying to figure out in this new 2021 2022 millennial era how could I as a single black Latino woman be called somebody's property and being told to service somebody service them is it a black person talking or is it a white person talking and usually when someone is telling you to service them you are not getting paid you are not going to get paid. You are not getting paid. It doesn't work like that. You are not getting paid. When someone orders you to service them, gives you a direct order to service them, you are not getting paid. Or if it's another in another relationship, usually you have control of the situation and it's an equal equal relationship it's 50 50 it's equal and so you give you give this give you give your part and the other person gives their part and it's 50 50 it's not it has nothing to do with politics it has nothing to do with the church it's just on a on a relationship level it's 50 50 in a true adult relationship okay it could be an education it could be an, an religion it could be an um community relationships whatever it is it doesn't necessarily have to be anything sexual about it but usually when you provide a service to somebody you provide what you are giving what you are what you are doing what you are um the uh, the product that you have and then the product that you have speaks for itself and then that person pays for that product or that person reimburses you for the uh for the requirements for the 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 say so for all the pain and energy that you gave through to that product for that product okay but usually when somebody demands that you service them you are not getting paid or if you are getting paid, it is, it is at a very, 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 very small percentage of what, it, of what the real value is giving to other people, as well as other people of your same culture, of your same age group, of your same race, of your same, same cultural group. You're giving to that at a very small percentage of what the real product price is.
Okay, so I'm going through a lot right now. I just wanted to kind of clear that up in the air. I know I'm 10 minutes into the broadcast, but usually I'm just kind of going through that right now. I'm going through a lot, a lot of emotions right now. So bear with me. I just wanted to get this off my mind, get this topic off my mind. Because usually I'm um, people are, I've been here and there and, and actually dealing with people demanding, demanding that I service them. It doesn't necessarily have to be white, it can be black. And usually a, lo a lot of the social skill that I'm going through right now is getting lower and lower and lower and lower where I'm dealing with incompetent individuals who can barely take care of their own means and own ways of survival. They're incompetent, they can't take care of themselves, they need assistance, as well as they look at to me to be the mommy figure, and I am not trying to be a mommy figure to anybody right now. I can barely take care of my own means and my own ways of survival, so I can service myself, I'm not trying to service anybody else. And the relationship that I'm looking for, as with a real relationship, should both be 50-50 on both ends, okay? Even if that person is way wealthier than I, or if I'm way wealthier than the other person, it should still be at a 50-50 level stance. Okay, it should still be 50-50, but it's not. Okay, so I'm going to go into what God's Word says about servicing. I do not own the rights to this song, okay? So I'm sorry. I do not own the rights to this song. So, so to this music, I do not own the rights, okay? Says about servicing. Okay, so this one just came up on Google. It came up in 2 Corinthians 9. 12 through 13. Okay, so this is Second Corinthians 9, 12 through 13. Here we go in the Gideon's Bible. This is a good one. Second Corinthians 9, 12 through 13. For the ministry of this service is not only supplying the needs of the saints, but is also overflowing in many thanksgivings to God. But their approval of this service, they will glorify God because of your submission that comes from your confession of the gospel of Christ and the generosity of of your contribution for them and for all others. While they long for you and pray for you because of the surpassing grace of God upon you, thanks be to God for this inexpressible gift. Okay, so I'm very dumb, I'm very stupid. At the same time though, I'm dealing with a lot of I'm losing a lot of energy. I'm working hard. I'm trying to write reports. I'm being pretty much isolated by myself. And I'm being told like, okay, usually you have so a support system around you. You have like a family system or a system of girlfriends, or guy friends, companions, pals, homies, teammates, whatever it is, to say, hey, you know what, let's meet up with this individual. Let's see if this person's good enough to date. Let's see if date if this if this person is in reality a nice person to date or a nice person to really get to know. Okay? To get to know. Okay? So that is 
that is how the dating world works. You you are you are expo- you have a team around you. You have a team around you, okay? A team of girlfriends, a team of homies and pants for you to get out there and for you to meet each other and then be exposed to other people to come into your to your network group and to find and moss each other that hey, we get along and we share the same likes and wants and therefore let's see if we can develop this into uh, a lifestyle or to a further relationship okay therefore therefore turning that into a dating experience but it is not a dating experience if you are being told to go beneath your means and level down to the requirements and the expectations of of uh, fulfilling the demands of an individual that they're putting upon you it's not equal it's not 50 50 it's not equal and it's not right it's not right so if you don't service this person then you won't get what get what you need or usually what happens is you service them it's okay but at the end run you have to continually continually to fulfill that same pattern over and over and over again and you can you cannot come up out of that lifestyle it's either gambling drugs mafia uh, uh, gangs um, whatever it is whatever it is kind of uh, drug wars, whatever it is, that this kind of gang life mentality where you are exposed in this group network and you are pretty much told to be and to do what, what they want you to do, when and, and when and where they, how, how they want you to do it at their beck and call and not at your own, own um, opportunity. And it's hard. It's hard to live up to that lifestyle. And usually people are barely, barely surviving off that lifestyle. Or if they are, if they are living that lifestyle, it's at a very, very high, high expectations and high demands. High demands, high expectations. And usually when you have a celebrity that's told to service somebody, okay, to go to a birthday party or to go to an event, that celebrity has a high, high fee, okay, as well as they have high demands. And usually that the public expects the high demands that the celebrity will give them, will meet the requirements. So like Rihanna, Beyonce, Cardi B, uh, um, Megan, Megan Thee Stallion, um, Mariah Carey, uh, all these rappers out there, these singers, these R&B singers, they go to these public events, these concerts, and they give their own service to the public. But at the same time, the public has high expectations for them, so they, the public is not putting any other further demands on this celebrity than what is already determined it to be. You see how that works? But it's different in the general general public realm, okay? It's personal, it's real personal, okay? In the general public realm, people are left on the streets and they're hurting and they're le- and they're hurting on the streets. They're desperate. They're desperate to survive on the streets and it's hard. It is very, very hard to survive these streets. And so when somebody tells you to service when you're on the streets, usually it's not really even a life or death situation is they want you to be, they want you to do something right then and right there and to abide by them. And they don't get, they don't, they don't want any other feedback or topic or whatever about it. You do what they say and then you go about your business. And usually, most of the time, that's either a pimp prostitute relationship or it can even be law and criminal involvement around it, too, as well. And so you're kind of caught up in that cycle where you don't know what to do. So it is a lot. It is a lot. 
it's a high expectation and so what god's word here is telling us it says in second corinthians i don't know if this is a really good bible verse or not but it's saying that that for, it's talking about service as a ministry it's a ministry that supplies the needs of the saints but in order to supply the needs of the saints you it has to be it has to be universal the, the saints have needs, but at the same time, God's word says that he provides, he already has provision for us. God's word already provides for us. We have our physical needs as well, but at the same time, God's word provides, he provides ramen for us in times of harvest, in times of, in times of, poverty in times of destruction in times of despair god has his word is mana for our body mana for our spirit but at the same time we have physical needs where we're, our bodies are hungry and at the same time we also have emotional and sexual needs but when somebody is telling you to service them and they are a christian per, a christian minister that at the same time has to be exposed it has to be exposed because usually you are not the only person that is going through that same situation, okay? Now, I'm not perfect. I'm not going to sit here and say that I'm a perfect person because I'm not, okay? I'm still, I'm still very much, you know, here. I'm, I'm single. I'm alone. I'm here. I'm here in the Boston area. I'm trying to do what I can with what limited resources and means that I have, but... At the same time, I know what I need to do and where I need to be and where I need to go. But I have skills, I have job skills, I have job requirements, and it's getting to the point in time where I'm very, I'm getting sick and tired of getting sick and tired of hearing the same thing over and over and over again to get my basic needs met. And it is pathetic and it is so sad and very old. God's words tells us to serve the saints, but at the same time, though, his word, it, at the same time, though, it has to be exposed, though. It's it's for the public to know, okay, this is this is a service, and yeah, this is what God's word says, but God's word also teaches us about love one another as he first loved us. So servicing is a ministry of love for the public to know. It's not a secret. It's not a secret. It's not a secret. So um, this is part one. I, you know, I'm just talking about it. I wanted to get off my chest. I'm very sick and tired of hearing this, hearing this from people and hearing this in the public, being by myself where I'm looking for a job. I'm here. I'm looking for a housing. I'm looking for an apartment. And I deal with the same thing over and over and over again here in the city, not just in Boston, everywhere I go, service us, service us, service us. What do you do? What do you do? Okay, so this is Queen Battle of Battle First Aid Responder Services. I would really appreciate your feedback, comments, and support about what it means to go through servicing as well as dealing with a lot of other issues here on the street, okay? All right. I love you guys. 